All right, it just arrived, my brand new Xbox Series X. And of course, the first question is not going to be what game am I going to play? Oh, no, no, no. The first question is, can it run Xamarin Forms applications? So here we are in the new Xbox Series X login screen. Um, this is already one important note. Um, you do need an account to enable the developer mode. Um, so I think the chances are pretty high that you already have an account. If not, create a Microsoft account, um, even if it's just for developer purposes, and log into it with your Xbox. So let me do that right now. Uh, let me enter my passcode. There we go. And here we are on the main screen. It looks pretty similar to the um, Xbox One X, but uh, uh, there's kind of little changes. Um, so what you want to do to enable the developer mode is go into the um, store app right here. Um, so probably you can't even get into this whenever you don't have an account, so you'll run into that um, automatically. And then we're going to go to the search right here. And we're going to search for something with developer or dev. So that's a separate um, app that you would have to install. So whenever I search for dev, then you can see in the upper side of the screen, um, here is the dev mode activation. Um, so make sure, I, I'm sure that Microsoft will keep close tabs on what's in this store, but you know, make sure that the um, publisher is Microsoft. And here we go, get it for free. So let's install this one for a little. Um, it's for free. Woohoo! I like free. Uh, let's get that. Thank you for your purchase. Got it. Here we go. Installing, installing, and hold to open. So I'm holding my home button right now to open the app immediately. And you'll be presented with a welcome screen. So we're going to click next. Um, here is the things that we'll look at in a little bit. So, um, well, this is actually quite convenient that they show this and I don't have to do it. So you have to have a development PC that is running on Windows 10. Um, you have to make sure that you're running on Visual Studio 2015 Update 3. Um, so hopefully you're running on Visual Studio 2019 by now, but you know, um, this is the um, minimum version that you should have. And also that your console has at least five gigabytes of internal storage. So I have all that, so let's go with next. Um, here we go, and now you need to go and um, activate this on your um, PC, so let's do that. So here we are on our Windows machine, and uh, let's just first activate that Xbox as was instructed to us by um, that same Xbox. So let's go to aka.ms slash activate Xbox, there we go. Um, of course, we need to log in, so here's my account name and password there we go stay sign in no so here we go you land in this portal which is the microsoft partner center and um, here you can manage like all your unlocked devices um, um, and development things and i don't know some other things uh, and i'm going to add my xbox right here by clicking on the plus sign and um, click enter activation code so um, you might want to do this um, a little bit quickly i mean normally you would probably do this in one go uh, but these codes expire pretty quickly so that no other people will have the chance to activate your xbox so let me input the code right here and click submit and whenever i do my xbox should show up here so here we go my xbox showed up or i think it is because um, let's actually give this a name so here we go xbox series x so we know which one is this and here you can also do a couple of other things like create test accounts uh, some other things i don't understand um, i don't think we need all that so let's just click save and uh, that should be done now while we're in windows anyway um, let's go to um, our start menu and go to settings and within settings we're going to go to update and security and from here we're going to go to four developers and then we're going to enable developer mode. So I've already done this. Um, this is also needed on your development PC, so you don't need to just activate the developer mode on your Xbox, but also on um, the Windows machine that you are running on. So I've already got this set up. Um, we're all ready, and it's time to finally get some Visual Studio action.
So let me start Visual Studio 2019 um, right here. As you remember, 2015 update three was the minimal one, but this will also work with 2019. And I'm going to create a new project. So here we go. And of course, that is going to be a mobile app here, Xamarin Forms. It's already in my recent project templates, of course. Um, so let's click next. Let's click here, uh, type here, X box series x sample um, create that here that's fine create um, see if we want to use some kind of template i actually do not so i'm going to choose a blank one here make sure that the uwp app is checked all the way to the bottom click create so this will uh, generate the project template for us and create a um, file new Xamarin forms application basically so let's see if this comes through. All right, so here we go. Our new Xamarin Forms application is completely loaded. Let's um, collapse all of these. So this is the one that we were after right now, right? So this is a UWP app. Um, and I can actually just run this on my local machine and we can see it um, come up on, on this machine as well. So let's just do that so we know what to look for on our Xbox. Here we go, our app is coming up and here you see the file new Xamarin Forms template. So start developing now, some intro text, um, nothing too fancy, but you know, um, it's a Xamarin Forms app, so that's really cool. So let's close this one down. And the thing that you want to do now is go here all the way to the top where it said local machine, where I just click play and you can open that and you can find a remote machine. So let's click that. And whenever you do, uh, we're going to have to uh, specify a IP address or um, it, it might auto detect um, it on your network as well. Uh, but in this case, it doesn't. So you want to find the IP address on your Xbox. Um, so let's switch to our Xbox and see what the status is there. So going back to the Xbox, I found this message. Uh, we're almost ready. We need to update your Xbox. After the update, come back and you'll be able to switch to developer mode. Okay, so that's good. Um, let's close this one then. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, no updates. Um, well, let's just see if I can restart this and uh, maybe that helps. So restart it. Yes. Let's see if that uh, does the thing that we need. One eternity later. All right, we're back. So let's log in again here. And the dev mode activation is selected. So let's see if this gives us anything now. And it still says the same thing. After some quick Googling on Bing, I found a possible solution. So this is something that happens to more people. Um, so I'm going to close this one and then I'm going to go to settings and then um, console info and press the following button. So that is LB all be okay. There we go. That's interesting. So those buttons are um, L B R B L T R T, and you have to push them really quick. So basically move all your fingers on the shoulder button. Um, and this gives us the developer settings. So what does this do? Oh, and I can put it in developer mode here. Um, so this is interesting. Um, the console will restart. Okay. So it will now restart in developer mode, hopefully. A few inches later. Okay, so here we are in the um, developer mode of the Xbox Series X. Um, so this is a little bit different than you're used to. Um, so you got a whole bunch of settings here. So you can show the Visual Studio pin that you might need for, um, you know, pairing your Visual Studio um, to uh, this Xbox. Um, and, you know, you can do a bunch of other things that are um, you know, um, very important, but not to us right now. Uh, the one important thing is that you can see here a button leave dev mode because, you know, you can't do anything else than development right now. So if you want to go just back to playing games, then you should leave the dev mode and um, um, you will go back to your regular Xbox. Um, so the thing that you do want to do is probably go to launch home here um, because um, all the settings are basically reset. Uh, well, probably not on, hopefully not on my regular like Xbox mode, but in the development mode it is. So let's go into our settings first and connect this to the network. So I'm going to set up a wireless connection here, choose my network and log in. There we go. So connecting because all the debugging and deploying and whatnot is going to happen over the network connection. So it's um, important that we have our connection set up. 
connection is all good. So that should be that. Um, so to check out our RP address, um, I hope that the Visual Studio will pick up uh, this Xbox automatically, but let's see if we can figure out our IP address. So let's go to advanced settings down here and we can see our IP address is 192.168.1.94. Um, so I'll just remember that and go back, go back, go back till I'm back at home. Um, so here we are, let's switch back to Windows and see if we can connect to this puppy. Okay, back at Windows, let's click this refresh button, hope it detects it automatically under this auto detected tab right here. No connections found, so not very hopeful. Nope, no connections. Okay, let's just see if we can do uh, uh, 192.168.1.94, um, select. So that it actually accepts this setting does not say that it actually found it, but um, um, so let's see what happens. Uh, we're going to have to select the X64 here because you know Xbox Series X has a 64 bits processor, so we want to do that. Oh, we actually need to do this again then. Um, so here we go 192.168.194. There we go. Um, select. And let's just click play and see what happens. Okay, so it seems a connection is established because it's now asking me for that pin that I uh, mentioned to you earlier. Um, and you can find this in the devices developer settings. So um, let's see if we can find that one. All right, back at our Xbox, I think we need to go to this dev home thing here that will bring us back to this one. Um, and you can also see here now that the Xbox Live is up and running a little bit to the middle of the screen. So I guess that's something good because that was in red a little bit earlier. So in here we can show our Visual Studio pin. So there we have it. Um, let's just remember this one for a little bit and um, quickly go back to our Visual Studio to enter that and hopefully then our app will start deploying. So let's enter that pin that is this one, this one, this, 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 okay. And deploy started. Okay, this is looking good. Okay, so it seems that our app has been deployed. So let's check it out. I can already see a new app here, uh, which says not running. So when I click that, oh, it asked me to sign in. So that's interesting. You need to probably sign in with your live account on the um, dev sandbox as well. So let's quickly do that. Okay, so also logged in here. Um, let's give some permission to send data so Microsoft can learn from our experience. That's fine. Okay, fine too. All right, yeah, I'll ask me for a pass key. That's fine. Link the controller to me, also fine. Um, okay, so here we are back at our developer box. Um, so let's try to run this little app of ours again. It's actually starting this time and here we go, boom. Our Xamarin Forms app running on our Xbox. Now, isn't that amazing? Now, once you've set this all up, you can also do the remote debugging sessions. So um, if you then just start a remote machine here again, and uh, we're going to wait for the deploy to start, you should see the app coming up again. And um, you can then just you know put in breakpoints and uh, debug through your application. So it will come up. Um, you can also see like the little frame counter on the um, left top and um, you have a mouse cursor to move around because you know you might have um, some some um, cursor action in here um, but you can put in breakpoints and you can do whatever you want but I'll leave that to figure out for you um, at least we've seen that we can create Xamarin Forms applications on your brand new Xbox Series X. Now, like I've said, a quick note, um, leaving the development mode. So if we go back here and we click leave dev mode, then uh, you can say delete uh, all the site loaded things here. So all the things that we've deployed, well, let's just do that and uh, start fresh. Um, but this is the way that you can click OK and it will bring you back to your regular Xbox environment and you can just play those awesome games. Voila. Turns out you can actually run Xamarin Forms applications on your Xbox Series X. How cool is that? Let me know in the comments what kind of apps you're creating or what kind of apps you maybe want to see that others can create. Come up with your great ideas. And actually, this method that I've just shown is not just for the Xbox Series X. It will also work for the Xbox One X. So if you have a Xbox One X or, you know, a Series S, who knows, it will all work 
all the same and you can go out and create your awesome applications that now not only work on mobile phones uh, watches but also gaming consoles how cool is that all right if you've liked this video please press the like button uh, click to subscribe hit that bell become part of that notification squad and i'll be seeing you for my next video